It's the 15th of October and I've just come back from doing an attic class taught at Plymouth University. I literally have about six pages worth of notes so I'm not going to list them all but I will take you through what I learned today. The class is for abled body performers, I think they were in their third year, um, third year dancers and it's about learning how to effectively teach people. Um, the session began with about an hour long conversation just about different skills and ways Attic um, teach different classes depending on who they're working with because Attic has a lot of different branches, it's not just um, disabled people they work with. Uh, one of my notes I've made is language is so important. Um, I've learned the language that you use when referring to disabled performers is really really important. And um, I just made a note here that they said that you need to match it to the kind of performers that you're working with. So if you're working with a group of children, you can't use very technical terms that you'd use in a higher education place. You'd have to use uh, different words, just very simple changes, just to make it more adaptable to the age group that you're working with. Uh, my favourite note that I've made today, and it's kind of a realisation as well, is when working with disabled people, just see it as art. Make the best dance or theatre piece you can. And then the secondary benefits, like, you know, making people more confident, better in social situations, um, just better at speaking out loud in front of people, that will come from the work. So you don't have to make if you know you're working with disabled performers or anybody like young offenders or something you don't have to just like make it therapy it's really hard to word you can just do what you do with everybody and make a really good performance um, i've written that it was it was interesting the slight alterations to exercises um for these able-bodied people the language was different it was a lot more academic, it was like described as levels, like this is level one, now take it to level two, then level three. I haven't seen done in the um, Attic 360 class. Um, but it was interesting just to see how they were using the exact same ideas that they used in the 360 class, but just slight alterations just to fit this different group of people. Um, I'm definitely learning that it's important to layer ideas and um, pattern them. I also had a meeting with Larry for the first time um, on Friday which went really well and um, I've been recommended these books to read. The books are by Aaron Williamson who's deaf and um, it's quite powerful poetry. I haven't actually read any of them yet but I'm really looking forward to reading some of this and seeing whether I can use some of them as a stimulus um, for my performance in December. I've um, got a pretty exciting day tomorrow. I'm going to be going at 10 o'clock to the Plymouth Music Zone um, to work with people who I haven't met yet and um, I'm pretty excited to see what this class is going to be like. Then um, I've got another 360 class the same as I did last week um, and it would be nice, I'm looking forward to getting to know the people in the class better. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that progresses. Um, on Wednesday I'm going to uh, Milford Special School, which um, I have no idea what to expect, but hopefully, um, again, it should be really insightful. So stay tuned, bye bye.